We've been learning new information all day about that patient, now identified as Thomas Duncan, a father who is originally from Liberia. Well, he had reportedly helped a pregnant woman who had Ebola while he was in Africa two weeks ago, and that's how he got that disease. For all those new developments, we go to ABC's Elizabeth Herr. She's in Dallas tonight. Not taking any chances. That's the message from top health officials in Texas, power washing the apartment complex where Thomas Duncan was visiting family. And local schools also scrubbed down with parents on alert. I'm trying to see what kind of safety precautions they're taking at the school for me to determine whether or not, you know, my child is going to be able to return. Today. This, as officials now reveal, four people, including children Duncan was visiting, have been quarantined, explaining they violated the request not to leave the premises. There's food being delivered to them right, right now, groceries being delivered. Uh, we're arranging for the, uh, that apartment to be uh, cleaned. We're told for the next 21 days they need to be checked for fever and other Ebola symptoms as disease detectives work to track down some 100 people who may have had contact with Duncan. He's still sick. He's doing very, he's, he's still fighting. Duncan's nephew says the father and former chauffeur from Liberia remains in isolation in serious condition at this Dallas hospital. Officials know the public remains on edge and vow the system is working. The bottom line here is that we remain confident that we can contain any spread of Ebola within the United States. We should note here we have now learned the possible second case of Ebola in Hawaii has been ruled out, but we are told health officials across the country remain on high alert. Elizabeth Herr, ABC News, Dallas.